everyone's different. You know, there's no perfect deadlift. I get, <laughs> I'm a world record deadlift holder, and I get scrutinised by powerlifters no end that have got a bad technique and I've got a rounded back. There's, there is no such thing as a perfect deadlift. Everyone's different. Everyone's got different levers. So you deadlift to what's you, what's comfortable for you. But what I'm here to do today is to tell you what I do that I find most comfortable and then what I get most power from. So I I told you about the 40. You know, wider feet, toes straight, foot in the middle of the bar, <coughs> the wider grip. Not, drag, not dragging up the legs. So, you know, all those little things can add, easily add, you know, another 10% on your deadlift. So, you know, it's always, it's always the little things. And when you get the big numbers, like me, when you get into the four, possibly 500 kilo, 10%'s a lot, it's 50 kilo, it's a lot. So, you know, even at your standard, you know, two, 300 kilo, those 10%, still 30 kilo, still a lot. So make sure you do all these little things to sort of minimise the resistance, get the most power in the floor. So as I was saying, um, if you've got a very narrow grip on the bar, it's very hard for you to sort of get your shoulders back. But if you get the, the, the grip on the bar a lot wider, your shoulders sort of slip back naturally anyway. I even go to the extent of put, putting Vaseline in my armpits. Just so when I stand up, it just slips back naturally. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to shrug it back, you don't have to get it up in. Again, it's all about creating less resistance, it's like when I'm, when I'm saying a wider grip so you don't drag on your shorts. You know, the less resistance, the better your pull's going to be. find that taller people tend to be built perfectly for deadlifts. Put your arms down by your sides for me. Now, 
Now, I'm not looking, but hopefully his fingers come down lower than mine, or do they? Yeah. Yeah? And he's three, four inches taller than me. Yeah? So that proves my point that taller people are built amazingly for deadlifts. You might, you might not think so, but the travel from the floor to the, to the, to the waist is probably exactly the same because it's got longer levers. And longer levers means you can use, you scrutinize your own body weight a bit better. So, um, you know, the old myth, shorter guys are better deadlifters, but it's harder for them. So the taller you are, the better. Okay. In the gym, I just used the and grip the bar, drop my hips, the seconds the shin touch, boom, up. In a competition, totally different, totally different ball game. What I do is sit down in a squat position, so I'm very like this. But I, as long as I keep the bar against my shin, I know that when I, when I drop forward, the second my heel hits the floor, I know because it's against my shin, it's in the middle of my foot, and I can just leg press it up. And always remember that a deadlift is a leg press. It's, it, it's not a deadlift. You think about it, you grip the bar, close your eyes, and think of a leg press, and you will, you will instantly put all the weight into your heel. I do a lot of leg pressing every week. Um, every week get up to say, you know, up to a ton. 15 reps and I don't do it for, for, for squatting purposes, I do it for deadlift purposes. It really does transfer over very well. Um, as I say, a deadlift is from the floor to the knee, that's the leg press part of the deadlift. From the knee to the finishing point, that's all up back. So I do a lot of assistance work, I do a lot of rows, a lot of lap, lap pull downs, and again, that's just for all the assistance. Because if you didn't have a strong upper back, there's no way on the planet you'd be able to finish that pull. You know, but if you're a good leg presser, you get it to your knees and then get stuck. So it's very important to train the upper back to, to assist the deadlift. Now, this might seem a bit silly to everybody, but when I'm in training and I'm going for a PB, I'll set myself up in a competition mode. You know, and everyone in the gym will be like, what the fuck's he doing? But <laughs> what I'll do is, is I'll walk into the toilets and I'll stand in the toilets like an absolute idiot and I'll do me deep breathing and then when I'm ready, I'll walk out the toilets as though I'm walking into an arena. And that's my mindset. I'll, I'll, I will imagine in my mind there's 10,000 people there watching and I'll walk into that gym like it's an arena and I'll go straight up to the bar and I'll lift it. So the, there is little ways to do, you know, everyone's different, that's my way of getting sacked up, so it works, that works for me. Always try and imagine an arena. Shake there. <laughs> Watch the strong girls on YouTube. <laughs>